Tommy, three points. Can't complain with that. No, I'm, I'm delighted with the three points. Obviously, we want to win as many games as we can. I wasn't overly enamoured with our performance after the first 15 minutes, if I'm honest. And then the dads know that. But uh, what I said will stay in there. Um, but we need to stick to the script. I think there's one or two of them just gone off off piece a little bit today. Um, probably because we scored so early on, you know, there's a, there's a tendency to think it's going to be easy. You got to give Oxford City massive credit. They're you know they're in a very difficult situation. They're punching above their weight being in the league, I think. Um, and every one of their lads give everything, and they very nearly got something out of the game. We controlled possession quite well, I thought, and, and we kept the ball for, for large parts of the game. Couldn't quite turn that into more goals, but we did create chances, didn't we? Not enough for the possession that we had. Like I said, I think people in the areas to be the creative part of the side just didn't didn't give enough, in my opinion. We didn't produce enough for the people in the box. When If we had done, we'd have scored more goals. But you've got to give a little bit of credit to the opposition for that, for working hard to try and stop it. But I just like I said, I think... After the first 15 minutes, there was a collective sort of sigh, really, it looked like, you know, a bit of air come out of us. Yeah. Um, but it's all about results at this stage of the season, and like, yeah, my face might say, but I'm delighted that we've taken the three points. And, you know, good sides sometimes win when you don't play well, but if we turn up like that against a, a team in a similar situation to us on the table, which is our next opponents, we'll have our pants pulled down royally and our backsides smacked. I guess getting three points in those bad performances is, is a sign of a good side, really. So you've got to be pleased with that. Yeah, yeah. I, listen, they've come a long way. They've come a long way in the seven or eight months that we've been together this season. Um, but there's nothing to celebrate. You know, I, I understand we go, we always go and clap the fans. And, you know, I think we probably had more fans than Oxford yet today. It's been a fantastic following. And I, I'm... I apologise that I didn't spend too much time out on the field, but I, I didn't feel particularly well and I had to go in into the, into the dressing room to sort myself out. But um, part of that was because I was not happy with what I was seeing. We go ahead on to Saturday, Oldham at home, back to the EBB Stadium for a couple of games. Obviously, as you said there, we, we're facing no disrespect to Oxford City, but in, in terms of the table, a bit of tougher opposition. So is it, is it a busy week of training then now and, and getting into the players? Well, what you, you say tougher from? opposition. I just looked, someone's just told me that Chesterfield got turned over 4-1 mm. today off a team who was this morning in the bottom four. But listen, there are no easy games in this division. Is the different puzzles, there's different solutions to win games. We have a, a definitive way of trying to play because we train that way uh, and every one of my players knows their job and knows the man next to them knows the man on the other side of the pitch's job and I just want them to up their standards collectively and up their demands of each other because this last what we got left 10 yeah, like 10 games left it's going to be it's going to be tough and, and you know everybody who's in and around us will, will want to beat us everybody who's down below us and need points will be wanting to beat us there's going to be no easy games and the fans the way they've travelled again today deserve us to be at the top of our game every Saturday. It's alright being on top of your game Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, but when Saturday comes is when you need to put the you know, the glad rags on and do the proper prop, the proper job. And today we got away with one, I think. We saw Hadi Gandor come back into the side. When mm -hmm. you lose a player through injury, being able to recall someone that's doing so well on loan must be such a brilliant thing to yeah. be able to do. Yeah, I mean there's a lot of thought went into Hadi's um return and not just you know coming back to us but we I've liked Hadi since I walked in the door he's been very unfortunate um, with the injuries that he's had preceding us so he looks like he's now right at it I mean he's scored what has he scored five or six goals in seven or eight mm -hmm. games I think at uh, Farnborough but we've only ever used as getting them up to match fitness I was fingers crossed I wasn't going to lose either Lauren or Jack through an injury but unfortunately Jack's not going to be around for a few weeks and Hadi's banging in form so he's a very similar player to him and he's got energy he's, he's got pace he's got um he's got he's a good finisher as well to be fair so it gives us that four strikers in the building again and of course we've got ollie out at truro who's doing well so we've always got an eye on our lads out on loan i think people go realize we don't do that just to push them out of the way of me or out the, out of the football club they're actually out there to to get fitter match fit so that if we need them and they can come back but they're all well thought of